Israel has a right, indeed a duty, to defend itself against terrorists. Israel also has a responsibility to distinguish between terrorists and ordinary civilians. And the United States has a responsibility to do everything we can to make sure that life-saving humanitarian assistance gets to those people who have been affected by this conflict. Hamas is using civilians as human shields. They're hiding behind civilians. They're hiding among civilians. They're putting rockets and other terrorist infrastructure in civilian areas. That creates an added burden for the Israeli Defense Forces, but it does not lessen their responsibility. Start with Israel first and then deal with the other. As a separate measure. As a separate measure. We'll have that on the House floor this week. Okay. Uh, but we can't forget about the other adversaries linked to uh, Iran, which is causing the problems in Israel, and that is Russia in Ukraine and Europe and the threat also of China to the Pacific. We don't have enough capacity to support a three-front war. We've got to focus, and I think we should be focusing on Israel and Taiwan. This aid is connected because these uh, attacks are connected. We need to support Israel and support them strongly, and we need to support our friends in Ukraine as well. Remember, Jake, we made a promise to them in 1992 when they removed nuclear missiles and returned them to Russia, that we would protect them if Russia attacked. We need to keep our promises. Our credibility and our authority on the moral stage is, is greatly diminished if we do not also call out these, uh, this siege that Israel is launching on Gaza as violations of international Con law. We are losing credibility, and frankly, we're being isolated in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to be able to question where uh U.S. taxpayer dollars are going and what accountability the United States has in ensuring, for example, that when the president calls for Israel to uh, adhere to the international yeah. laws of war, that they actually are doing that. The United States of America, when we transfer weapons to another country, whether it's Israel or anyone else, uh, requests, requires an assurance that those weapons will be used in accordance with the law of armed conflict. And we seek accountability to ensure that that is the case. We will continue to do that. We will also work round the clock to try to make sure that life-saving humanitarian assistance gets to people in need.